So here we're given quite an interesting question. We're given a sequence and then they want us to calculate the sum of 100 terms. So the first step is to try work out what type of pattern we have, either arithmetic or geometric. So we may look at the 3 and then say, okay, well, to get from 3 to 1, you could minus 2. But then to get from 1 to 5, you would have to add 4. So then we might try the following. We might say, okay, well, 3 divided by 3 is 1 but then one divided by three is not five. So we have a bit of a problem, but what if you could see the following? What type of pattern would those numbers form? Well, they're increasing by two every time, so that's arithmetic, and then the, the following numbers, they also form their own pattern, but that is a geometric, because notice that they're multiplying by two. So to get from one to two, you times by two, and then to four, and then to eight. So we have a combination question over here, where we have half of the terms being geometric, and the other half are arithmetic. So it's super easy to calculate. We'll take 50 terms using an arithmetic pattern and the other 50 terms will be the geometric. At the end, we'll just add the two answers together and that'll be the sum of 100 terms. So we know that the sum of an arithmetic pattern can be calculated with the following formula. And so let's see what we get. So we know that the sum, well that's gonna be for 50 terms, is gonna be 50 over two, so 50 terms, because half of the terms are going to be arithmetic and half will be geometric, we'll then say 2 times a. Now a is usually term 1, which in this case will be 3, plus n is going to be 50 minus 1, and the common difference between those numbers for the arithmetic is 2. You can go ahead and type all of that in on the calculator, and we should get an answer of 2,600. Now we can do the other half of our sequence, which is a geometric. So we use the sum of a geometric pattern, which is given with this formula over here. And so we'll find the sum of 50 terms. And so a is not going to be 3. a is going to be 1 because we're looking at the geometric pattern specifically. r is the number that you have to multiply with to get to the next term. And that's going to be 2 because you're saying 1 times 2 to get to 2. And then 2 times 2 gets you to 4. And then, two and then 4 times 2 gets us to 8. So R is going to be 2, and then we'll have 50 terms for that pattern, and then we'll say 1 minus 2 at the bottom. And then you can just put all, that, all of that on the calculator, and that'll give us a value of, that actually gives us a huge number, and I should have chosen a smaller number of terms, because that 2 to the power of 50 is an extremely big number. So it's a bit of a silly example now, because you'll see what's going to happen. But if we round to two decimal places, it's going to be approximately 1.13 times 10 to the 15. And then we said that we simply have to take these two numbers and add them together. But if we do that, we're still going to get a, so the sum of the 100 terms is still going to stay 1.13 times 10 to the 15. Why? Because 2,600 is so small compared to this huge number. This is a number with 13 zeros added on the end. And so adding 2,600 to it is really going to have no effect. So I should have chosen smaller a smaller number of terms. Then we at least would have seen the effect of this 2,600. But nonetheless, the idea is that you calculate two separate patterns and then you just add their sums together at the end. It's only in this example where the one pattern had a sum that was extremely big and so the other pattern didn't really make a difference to the sum of the hundred numbers.